So basically, this is the separated glitch tutorial where I'm going to show you how So the clip we're going to use today is Triple X Tentacion Moonlight. So if you look at it side by side, this is exactly what we're going to create. Step one, just scrub through your footage just to make sure that you've got the best possible uh, place to actually put the separated glitch. So once you find that clip, add the bad TV effect on top of it. First, you want to alter the amount of the bad TV you put on there. And then also you want to change it to TV static on a static type. Step three, add the prism effect on top of the same clip uh, just to make it a little bit more dynamic and uh, glitchy. Step four, on the glitch, um, on the bad TV effect, you want to add a color mask to the place where you want to actually have your glitch occur. So for me, it will be the face of um, Triple X Tentation, ten 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 so it will be the face of Triple X Tentation. So here we're just going to drag that ball just on this face. We can also use the soften tool to either, you know, make sure that we color, we capture all of that color or just capture a little bit of the color to match there. And then you do the exact same thing for the prism effect. So you go down to your prism effect and add the same color effect to that area, or maybe you can leave it uh, being quite broad, depending on the look you're going for. If you do want that properly, properly isolated glitch, you want to do it on the same color. So once you've got an area, what you want to do is add a shape mask. A shape mask will allow you to only select, so the brown of his skin, we're going to make sure that that is only going to show up on his face as opposed to everyone else's face. And then from there, you just use the keyframe button and move it along as you see fit, just to track the object, play it back to see if it's tracking all nice. And then you do the exact same thing for the prism effect, uh, depending on how much you've softened it. So we're just gonna make, put a shape mask just to control that a little bit. So once you have the glitch tracked onto the clip, you want to take that clip and cut it, dice it into loads of little pieces. So I've separated it by two or three frames, uh, but I wanted it to be quite random. I didn't want it to be predictable. So one, one frame is three, then I cut, then I uh, moved forward another three frames, then I cut, then I moved forward maybe six frames, then I cut, then I moved forward seven frames, then I cut, and I moved back to three, just so it's a bit why that's important is because on the off clips, you're going to turn off in every other clip the effects so that you have some that glitch, some that don't, creating that sort of flicker. So yeah, that should be fine for your separated glitch effect. So personally, I would want the face to glitch and also like his jean jacket to glitch. So I've already made the track for the face and the glitch for the face and the everything I need for that, which is a perfectly fine shot, but also I'm now going to do the same. So add a second bad TV effect onto the clip or a clip that you've cut up and then add a uh, color mask and then drop the color onto the, um, the jean jacket. That's what I would do. And then also add a shape mask, which uh, for me would look better as a square. So I've pulled that toggled, uh, just turned that into sort of like a square or, or an oval and tracked it along the length of the clip. So once I've done that, I've made sure that the, um, along the length of that clip, that there's a glitch going on on the jean jacket as well. What I want to do is actually uh, keyframe that up. So you can keyframe this, you don't have to. If it looks fine, you know, choppy, you just want to split it again and then turn some of the effects off on the other clips. zero glitch effect on the jean jacket all the way up to 100 and then come back and come it's more of a random action and that's what the the effect should really be so there you go there's my separated glitch effect if you need the plugin i've got one and it really helps um so take a look there's a free plugin down there that you can get for the separated glitch effect let me know how you get on if you like it um yeah let me know Feel like i'm destined i don't need no smith and west now who are you testing focus control here's your lesson on knife and testing taking shots at all